Hello, everyone, and welcome back to yet another political episode. So, if you turn on the new election news, we are mainly seeing, we are hearing in the news mainly about Georgia and P Pennsylvania and Nevada. Arizona, I'm going to get into that in my next video. Uh, controversial, um, but we'll talk about that later. But today we're focusing on Georgia because both sides seem to be on a status quo. However, it seems as if the uh, attacks against Herschel Walker uh, are not, aren't working. Uh, reasons? Well, if you are unaware, the Walker administration has been involved into some scandals. One was a month ago, which Walker pressured a wo oh, individual to have an abortion. That uh, scandal, um, many Republicans are being very critical towards that, and many uh, politicians from Florida, Alabama especially, have been campaigning for Walker, trying to get him out of, to get out them out of that. Whether it's a lie or not, I can't get into that. It's a, it's a very touchy issue. First off, I do think it's strange that Walker a very big staunch pro-life uh pro-lifer would urge a woman to get an abortion for during this time it's kind of suspicious i will give you that it is suspicious uh there is a chance that this is totally not true this is a lie uh this is this could, totally could be the case however it is a scandal at heart so it's being treated as one and somehow made its way into the news um and the media has reflected on this. Um, so as, and then we continue on, and then we get more scandals, more scandals unravel involving Herschel Walker. Now there's multiple women saying that, uh, multiple women saying that they, Walker had urged them to get an abortion. Uh, now it's starting to, for me at least, and once again, this is my opinion now, uh, this seems a little suspicious now. It's getting a little suspicious. Uh, reasons? Well, um, it's October once again. We there, in, this, in, bo in both sides, Republican and Democrat, tend to make up lies to create the October surprise. It's very, very common and very infamous. Um, the, so it, it is very possible that, uh, supporters of what Raphael Warnock could be making this all up. Otherwise, uh, and then there's the fact that, uh, I don't really think, yeah, Walker is speaking. Uh, he isn't very, uh, in confident in himself. So maybe he has been in some scandals. So it really, really is controversial whether if it, um, is if the Walker administration was involved or not. However, I will tell you this. I know by heart these scandals won't affect the Walker administration. Why? Because the Walker... So first off, we need to realize Dem the platform on both parties. Democrats are more pro-choice, and Republicans are more pro-life. Okay, now this is only if if you had to choose one pro life or pro life can the pro lifers pro life candidate candidates at heart would they, would would be given to choose Raphael Warnock or Herschel Walker. Now, mo which one's more pro life, Herschel Walker? So, oh, even if. Walker indeed did encourage and push a woman to get an abortion. Uh, if you had to choose one, they most likely will choose Walker. Uh, at least 80% of pro-lifers will choose Walker, uh, even though he ha he allegedly could have uh, encouraged a woman to get a multiple women to get abortions. Um, so this, I don't think, is going to affect Herschel Walker in any way. Mean, mainly because, yeah, I mean, this isn't going to get liberals enraged. As we know, Democrats advocate for abortion policies. They advocate for open for abortion. Um, 
in Planned Parenthood. So you would think, oh, this is, uh, you would think, oh, this, this is going to get more people to vote for Herschel Walker. Well, not necessarily. Remember, Herschel Walker, uh, his opponent also is pretty pro-choice. So he's going to, well, I don't know, Georgia is a pretty uh, Democratic Party. But in the South, Democratic Party are, is very center, except for Georgia and Florida. They're more left-wing. Um, so Warnock, I believe, does support abortion. And once again, we need to get more abortion policies as possible in, a, in Georgia. Uh, that would would give women the right to choose when it comes to the Democrat perspective. So that's coming from Warnock. So I don't think this is I could really backfire at them. I bet some centrists are going to be like, "Oh, um, Herschel Herschel Walker is kind of neutral now with abortion." Maybe I can vote for him. Well, well, I don't think that is a key issue on his mind while running. So, it is a very confusing issue. And my words might be falling out of my mouth. And it could be turned into the wrong way. So, also keep that in mind. Uh, so, right here is the status quo map of Georgia. Uh, once again, uh, counties ever, uh, back in 2020, the two Senate elections, this is both results in the presidential and the two U.S. Senate elections in Georgia. Same, same counties won. Warnock, um, Asaf, and Biden won these, count, these blue counties. Uh, 30 of them. War, it is predicted thir Warnock will carry these blue counties while walker will carry a hundred a total of 129 um once again oh republicans will do great in georgia well it's about population i will tell you this um most african americans in georgia are pro-life most georgians are pro-life so yes this could backfire on walker and they'll be like oh we're gonna vote for the third party candidate. That's what that's what could happen um, if there is one. I'm remember I'm Minnesotan. I'm not Georgian. I don't follow Georgian politics, but um, the whole country is looking at Georgia because um, we're seeing ooh which which party is going to carry Georgia? Is going to be Democrats or Republicans? Thus, we'll add the U margin to the U.S. Senate. So yes, it's going to be a, a uh, election day is coming up Tuesday. All Saints Day marks a week. Um, that um, election day will come, and it's very suspenseful. So yeah, this is it. Ultimately, this is my final prediction of the Georgia Senate election. Nothing else. This is this is probably what it's going to look like. Uh, very mild. This I will bet bet hundred bucks on this. This is what it's going to look like. Reasons because same counties voted for Biden and Trump. These in the they all. This is the same results in the presidential. And the two Senate elections. I went over with it on another video. I think we're all clear on that. And ultimately, this is what the po what polls, they're like, ah, polls are like, I don't know. Then this is an I don't know map. This is totally a status quo. Democrats, you could say Democrats won this map or Republicans won this map. It's very 100% a status quo here. Anyway, that is it. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys up in the next video episode as we will continue to look up in the Arizona Senate race. So long.